I'm Joe Perry and I'm the director of judging for ICPC. The people in ICPC that I work most closely with are the finals chief judge, that's John Bonomo, and the ICPC finals judges. About a month ago, Lisa Donahue asked me to make a video, a short video, about how to perform well in ICPC contests. Well, I told her I would make a video, but what I didn't tell her was this. I frankly don't know what you and your team should do to prepare beyond what you already do or what you already know. But there is one person who does know, and that's your coach. Your coach most likely has had much more programming contest experience than you, experience in problem solving, what kinds of problems to expect, what contestants go through during a contest, but not just that. Your coach knows you and your team members what your different strengths are, how you work together, and to top it all off, your coach is the one person most determined that you do well. So I can't tell you how to prepare for the contest other than the obvious, but I can tell you about the biggest challenge you face as an ICPC Finals contestant. That is, I can tell you about the problem set. I'll start at the beginning. The ICPC sends out a call for the next year's ICPC finals problems every July. The call is sent to about 80 people who are encouraged to forward it on to others who might be interested in contributing. Candidate problems are due two to three months following the call. A candidate problem consists of a write-up or a problem description, at least one solution, test data, and usually an explanation of about the problem itself. And the explanation could include the difficulty of the problem, solution approaches, a variety of things. After the submission of candidate problems are completed, a small group of experienced ICPC finals judges review those submissions and select the problems they think make the best problem set, plus a couple more. The selection process usually takes six to eight weeks. After the problems are selected, they are assigned to finals judges to refine, that is to create solutions in multiple languages, to develop extensive test data, to edit the problem statements, and to modify the problems as needed. Each judge refines one or two problems that were originally authored by a different judge. Incidentally, all of the finals judges have created contest problems problems that are used in previous contests, and almost all of them have been contestants in the past, but they cannot be coaches, and they cannot have participated in recent contests, which of course eliminates almost all students. This refinement stage is when the judges see all of the problems and start collaborating on them as an entire team. During this stage, they work on the entire problem set as well as problems assigned individually to them. All problems are solved by multiple judges, thus guaranteeing independent solutions. Judges can adjust problem difficulties by setting more or fewer restrictive conditions, changing time limits, or even put a, putting additional commentary in the problem statements. Problems can and sometimes are removed from consideration Say, for example, a problem is too similar to an old regional contest problem, or if there are simply too many problems of that same type. By the time you ever see the resulting set, there's been a lot of effort put in to make this a good problem set. So just what does make a good problem set? And there are several measures. A good set has problems in a range of difficulties. The set cannot be too difficult, or no team would solve many problems. The set cannot be too easy, or every team would solve most problems. And neither of those two cases would be satisfactory for either judges or teams. A good problem set has many different types of problems. Say geometry problems, dynamic pro programming problems, some mathematics problems, etc. Of course, when the contest is concluded, the problem set is considered good if every team solves at least one problem, 
No team solves every problem, and every problem has at least one solution. Finally, for your own work. As a teacher, I always had students begging me for practice tests. They wanted to know what kinds of problems to expect, how difficult they were, what the test just looked like in general, plus the details. And of course, the ICPC website has PDFs of all the past finals problem sets. There are hundreds of problems for you to practice on by yourself as a team, or as a team as well. And I'll give you two examples, the ICPC archive at icpcarchive.ecs.baylor.edu. And there's a set of CADIS as well as open.cadis.com slash problems. Take advantage of them and have fun.